Hello and welcome to the Fall 2013 World's RV Show going on at Motorhome Specialist, the number one volume selling dealership in the world. My name is Donnie O'Banion and I'm being joined today by Joel Grimm, who is the National Sales Manager for the Class A Gas as well as the Class C divisions of Thor Motor Coach. And Joel's going to be taking us on a tour today of one of the most exciting Class C products to hit the marketplace in years, the Four Winds Super C Diesel. Thanks, Donnie, for Thank you so much for being here, Joel. Our family really appreciates it. Thank you. Yeah, what we have here is uh, a product that's all new to the market. It's a F550 uh, Super C that's powered by the uh, Power Stroke 6.7 liter V8 engine, giving you 300 horsepower and 660 pounds of foot torque. Uh, what really separates this motorhome from the rest of the Class C's in the marketplace is that it gives you a 10,000 pound hitch rating, uh, which really allows you to tow anything that you possibly need. Absolutely. As well as, of course, diesel generators, you know, the other things that are the benefits of the, of the diesel. So, you know, longer stays, larger fuel tanks, you know, a lot of different things I know you're going to be talking about during the course of the video. But uh, we're really glad to see it. It's been a huge call in the marketplace and a big void in the marketplace for years not having the diesel. And uh, Thor really the first one to step up, you know, at this level and, uh, you know, bring something to the marketplace to feed the masses. Absolutely. So glad to see you do it. Thank you. Uh, some of the neat features on the front of this front cap is going to be one, the aggressive chrome grill on the front. Really gives it a nice look. It does. Uh, and then we add here a painted front bumper that ties into our HD Max colored fiberglass exterior uh, offering. Um, down the side of the motorhome, uh, one you'll see here is going to be a one piece nice big molded fiberglass front cap. Uh, chrome mirrors on the side here as a safety feature which are going to be complemented with side view cameras so when you turn your turn signal on uh, you can see oncoming traffic coming down the road right into your backup camera. That's a tremendous safety feature. Another nice safety feature is going to be a nice big one piece fiberglass running board here which makes it extremely easy to get in and out of the motorhome. Now, like a, now, is this the HD Max or is this paint to match like the, like uh, the front this bumper? This is actually going to be painted to match the front bumper um, so that it does tie into the colored fiberglass sidewalls. Did an exceptional job and of course it is available um, in two full body paint schemes. Uh, but the new HD Max, I mean, uh, for a fraction of the cost, I mean, really does give the appeal uh, or the look of a full body paint coach, especially with, with the added, uh, you know, you painting the, uh, the running boards and, of course, the front bumper, as you mentioned, and the way that y'all tied the stripes in together. I mean, it uh, you just did an exceptional job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, what's really, really nice about the HD Max is, is a lot of consumers want that high-end look. They want that full body paint look, but the industry has never given them anything different than full body paint. So what the HD Max does is it gives the appearance of full body paint without the added expense of what full body paint costs. Coming down to the side of the motorhome, I want to point out a few things. One is the exceptional storage that the Super C offers. Uh, it's going to give you 133 cubic square foot of exterior storage space. You'll notice the door is side hinged with a slam latch here, so no more having the door go up and down, banging your back. It opens up to the side, which makes it nice and easy to get into the inside here. Uh, one thing to point out with our exterior storage bays is going to be everything is lined in a seamless rotocast material, uh, which is going to reduce any opportunity for mildew or mold that might occur uh, with a fabric uh, lining or any rusting that might occur with a steel lining. Much lighter weight and, and quieter too when well, whatever you're putting in, inside the bays and you're actually traveling down the road than the, than the metal. Correct. Than the traditional metal bays that you'll find in most coaches. Um, yep. And as far as cleaning them out, uh, is, that a, is that a drain? It's a Zerk drain. Uh, it's easy to, you know, you spray it down with some 409, some water, just pull the drain out and then the water can simply drain out the bottom of it here. So ease of cleaning, uh, really it doesn't convenient. get any better than this. And then also each compartment is equipped with its own exterior light in there. For, for nighttime use. Great. Uh, coming down the rest of the side of the motorhome, uh, you'll notice here is going to be your LP tank and also your hydraulic jack system. Uh, the nice thing that with this Super C here is that there's a lot of standard features, so everything is built right into the base price of the motorhome. Uh, you got a four point hydraulic jack system, which is hydraulic down and hydraulic retracted back up. Okay. All of your lines are all co color coordinated, so if you do have an issue with the jack, it makes it extremely easy for a technician to get into there, identify which hose line goes to which jack uh, to get you fixed and back on. 
also going to be one of the few options uh, on the Super C here is going to be a 32 inch exterior television, uh, which is going to be your LED television built right into the sidewall here, uh, which makes it nice when you're sitting out underneath the, the patio, the electric patio awning, which is another standard feature. Uh, you can watch your favorite sporting event or, you know, the news at night. Uh, but this is one of the few optional equipments that we do offer. That's great. And a really nice placement where you put it in the coach. Just, you know, where you can actually get out here in your patio area. So a place to set up your tables. You know, it's far, far enough away from your door. You know, a lot of them, they'll put it right here. Right. And, of course, people are constantly walking sure. in and out. You know, this way, it's just far enough away from your entry door uh, to really give you a nice campsite, you know, and, and uh, everybody be able to view the TV easily when you're watching the game. Uh, one thing you'll notice to point back out to the electric patio awning, this motor home here from front to very back is going to be 34 and a half feet long. Uh, we use a really long patio awning here, which is going to maximize the amount of patio awning space and shade that you have throughout the daytime. Okay. Coming down the rest of the side of the motor home here, uh, this is a critical compartment because it gives you a nice big pass-through storage underneath from one side to the next. So if you have any long items, a ladder, fishing poles, uh, anything that's going to take up a lot of space, you'll be able to slide it right under there uh, to maximize your storage capacity. Very rare in a Class C motorhome. It is. To have pass-through storage. And part of that is how we construct the motorhome. Um, all of our coaches, our Class C's and the Super C, are all outfitted at a company called Moride. Uh, Moride, they're experts in suspension. That's what they do. So we actually have them outfit all our chassis. Uh, they weld the uh, steel from sidewall to sidewall, so there's not going to be any outriggers that come off the main rail of the chassis, okay. which is going to increase the structural integrity of the motor home. Sure. And also, they're going to put it up on little steel risers, so the subfloor isn't sitting right on the main rail of the chassis right. uh, to reduce any vibration or noise coming through the floor. Uh, and also, it's going to give us that nice pass-through storage, uh, how they elevate it up off the main rail of the chassis. And, and y'all use uh, taller risers than, than most. We do. We do. Um, a lot of the competition, what they'll do is they'll put the floor uh, right on the main rail. Right. Uh, and they, or they may just use some outriggers right off of the main rail, so it doesn't give you that nice underneath belly storage. Absolutely. And that's something that is uh, brand-wide, not uh, just in your Class C's, but your Class A gas uh, division, which you head up Correct. as well. Um, you know, uh, again, just much taller risers, much bigger space through your Challenger line, your Outlaws, uh, your your complete lineup. Yeah, that's that's one thing we do uh, that's different than a lot of the other a lot of the competition is using Moride. You know, they are experts in suspension. That's what they do. Uh, they outfit ambulances um, and a lot of uh, uh, the UPS trucks and things like that. So that's what they're experts at. That's why we utilize them to make sure that our consumers get the best driving motorhome in the market. This big compartment here is going to be more exterior storage. Uh, you can never have enough storage. Wow. <laughs> uh, you can put golf clubs in there. Uh, you can put bicycles in there, uh, coolers. Uh, you know, there's a lot of big items that you're going to be able to store in there. And again, it is all going to be lined in Rotocast uh, material with a Zerk drain in this compartment as well. Coming around the rear of the motorhome here, a couple of unique features to talk about. One is going to be the color backup camera, which is also standard build, uh, which ties into side vision cameras as well. Uh, extremely bright LED lights up there, which is going to magnify for nighttime use. Um, but the big thing with this motorhome here with this Super C is going to be the hitch. Okay, It is rated for a 10,000 pound hitch. Uh, it's going to be the only Class C in the market that will have a 10,000 pound hitch uh, in its price point. Absolutely. And of course, I mean, that was the one thing that took people out of the Class C market for so many years that they had a motorcycle trailer, their horse trailer, you know, those types of things. We wanted to take additional toys and stuff with them. Uh, even some of the larger SUVs, you know, you just couldn't pull them even with a 5,000 pound hitch. So um, it's been um, one of the, obviously one of the key features uh, to selling the, selling it, this coach. It has been because the only option that the RV industry has given our consumers is to go to a big class A diesel pusher. Right. Uh, and a lot of folks don't want that big 40 foot motor home. Uh, you sure. know, they want something that's small and compact, uh, but they need the, co the towing capacity. And that's what the four wind super C offers. Absolutely. Um, of course, I really like the, the back window as well. You know, you, you noted the backup camera. Uh, but I really like how y'all are utilizing a lot of floor plans and putting the natural light back inside the bedrooms in these coaches. We are. Um, you know, I remember growing up, you know, it was kind of cool being able to look out the back window sure. and stuff like, you know, 
just that kind of stuff. And you know, a lot of times it's just cheaper, obviously, to just have a one piece wall without the added expense of the window because you can get by without it. But uh, just something that you're really good about doing uh, throughout your product lines is offering a lot of floor plans with the rear windows in it. We do do that. It really opens up the back bedroom area too. Um, it does. With natural light. Uh, we take it a step further too with all of our windows and openings throughout the whole side and front and back of the motorhome where we actually are going to frame in uh, the window frame with aluminum. So it's screwed into aluminum which is going to create a tighter seal, reduce wind noise and just assure that no moisture or air gets through this window here. It gives and, it extra added support. And most people within the industry are just running just wood just wood, the they're, they're framing it just in block foam. Uh, they're just screwing the seal into it, you know, into itself, or they're using actual structural support uh, where we designate aluminum just to bond in the, the window. Okay. This is going to come standard with the TPO roof, thermopolyolefin. Okay. okay, it's a seamless roof uh, that's got a vinyl backer on it. The roof is actually stretched over in one piece, glued down uh, to the roof structure, and it's actually wrapped over the side and then screw down the side so that there's no place for water to come, go inside the, si inside the side walls. Um, it's got a 12 year warranty on it. It's algae right. resistant, which is huge down south uh, with, the, with the large humidity amounts. It's rip and tear resistant. So, right. uh, and it's easy, very easy to repair. So sure. we're, we're using this on all of our class C and class A gas uh, product. Big offers. weight savings as well. Yes. Better mm -hmm. fuel economy. Uh, Better uh, fuel economy. It's lighter weight than fiberglass. Uh, and a big thing is it's energy uh, star approved. So it's going to have a higher energy uh, rating than, than a fiberglass roof wheel. The rear ladder here comes standard on the Super C as well. Okay, so when you want to get up there and clean your roof, uh, you can get up there. It's a full walk on roof. Uh, the roof structure is actually going to be 15 inch on center with aluminum trusses. So it's going to be built similar to a home uh, so that you can get up there and, 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 and make sure that you do normal maintenance on top of your motor home. So just to clarify, it's a whole roof, uh, a whole walk on roof. It's not just because a lot of coaches that are built are just down the sides, you know, where they tell you to walk. But even in the center of your coach, behind the air conditioning units, those types of areas, uh, it's a full walk on roof, no matter where you're at on top. Every 15 inches on center, there's going to be aluminum truss going across. That's impressive. You know, a lot of people use them. Mm -hmm. You know, they go sure. to NASCAR races sure. and stuff like that. It's a big deal. Absolutely. Yeah, now coming around the this side of the motorhome here, we're going to get some nice uh, rear storage in the back in this compartment here, again with a light. This one as well. Some additional storage here, which is going to be the other side of the pasture storage right, bay. Right, right. Uh, which will have its own light in it and also its own Zerk drain in it. Uh, you're going to get a 50 amp power cord. Okay. Um, also, you'll notice too, there's going to be a dual fill. Uh, it'll give you 68 gallons. There's going to be a 40 gallon and a 28 gallon uh, from Ford. So it'll be a dual fill. Uh, diesel tank. Uh, the generator will actually run off of the 40 gallon fuel tank. This compartment here with these suicide doors here is going to be your termination center, uh, which will open up. And you'll notice here is going to be your heated holding tank area. Uh, easy to drain or dump drain valve here, which goes right down there so you can keep the doors closed and just oh, run the nice. sewer hose out the bottom of it. That's nice. And this actually spins and adjusts to where you can pitch it down. It does. You can change the it. pitch of it when you're using it. When you're not using it, you pull it up and just put this cap back in here. Uh, it's kind of tough to see, but you'll also notice the sensors here are going to be on the side of the tank. Where okay. We put our probes on the outside of all of our holding fresh and gray water tanks, uh, mainly so for the, for the uh, black tank over time as you flush it out, right. it's not going to get build up in the inside. So when you hit your monitor panel, it's always going to give you an accurate reading with the probes on the outside. That's much, much better. And uh, the, the tanks themselves, um, are these heated? Yeah, they are heated, yes. And okay. they are fully uh, enclosed up uh, out of the way of the, any elements from, from outside. So are they actually heated from the furnace itself? Are they ducted in or are they heat pads? Heat pads Which one? are going to okay. be on heat pads. Mm -hmm. that's, that's great. And then like you said, being completely encased is just a step further than what you're traditionally That's the key find. part of it because a lot of class C's are going to, when you open up that compartment, you're going to have uh, all your holding tanks are going to be exposed sure. to the outside, any debris sure. coming up off the road. But this is going to be fully protected of what, the way that it's cased in. Very well done. Uh, coming over here, another standard, nice standard feature is going to be outside shower with a hot and cold feature on it. So if you're at the beach uh, and you're spraying off lawn chairs, you've got the dogs or pets with you, you right. give them a bath outside. Or if you're dumping uh, your black tank and you get anything on you, you can simply take this here and spray yourself off. So a very, very nice handy feature uh, having this outside shower. It is nice. 
And then, uh, of course, your second fuel fill there. Second fuel fill here, which is going to be the 28 gallon. The 40 gallon is going to be in the back. From Ford is going to be the optional 28 gallon. Uh, and then here you're going to notice a very popular uh, option that a lot of our customers put on their coach. It's going to yes. uh, with the 6.0 Onan diesel generator. Absolutely. Uh, standard is going to be an LP gen, but this is a very nice upgrade. Uh, which will give you a 50 amp service and also this is going to tie into your diesel uh, tanks. Well. So much appeal again to the people who you know dune buggies, motorcycle you know enthusiasts, those those types of uh, RVers that are going to be taking their toys and stuff sure. with them are going to be doing dry camping. You know they're going to you know that's the beautiful thing about a Class C is you can take this a lot of places you can't get a normal Class A gas. So now with the, along with the 10,000 pound hitch, the diesel generator you know you can go and do some dry camping and stay for an extended period of time. Um, you know, it's just a, a lot of benefits and a, and a whole different way of, of traveling than what you can normally Absolutely. be offered in a Class A gas. Absolutely. Uh, then this last compartment here, uh, you'll notice here this is the diesel exhaust fluid, uh, which is, comes required on all diesel uh, engines now. Right. The nice thing what we do with this, though, is we put it on the same side as your, do, uh, as your, as your diesel fills. Okay, Absolutely. so it's easy to access, it's easy to add fluid here, it's not tough to get it tilted and down and fluid in there. Right, and now you can actually use it at the pump? Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. So, because in the other ones, if they're located on the other side of the coach, that's when you have to carry it with you and Correct. manually fill it. So it's much less expensive to fill it at the, uh, at the actual at tank the itself, Correct. right? Mm -hmm. Or at the fuel pump itself. And obviously much more convenient. And that compartment's got just a lot of extra uh, storage in it too. Uh, you're gonna get your side vision camera on the left side here. Um, your water heater, is it uh, gas or gas and electric? It's gonna be a six gallon gas and electric. Okay, okay. it's an Atwood brand uh, water heater, uh, which is nice because uh, getting the uh, gas and electric, it's, it's actually gonna give you, uh, it's the recovery time that's important, not exactly the size of the water heater. And this here with, with the Atwood is gonna give you 17.8 gallons per hour. Uh, which is best in its class uh, in, the, in, the, in the marketplace. Absolutely, so I mean, it gives you the ability to actually get in there and take a nice shower instead of a jump in, jump out, and right. try to, before, before exactly. the water's cold. <laughs> exactly, a military shower as we call it. Um, and that kind of takes us around to the front of the coach here, back to the front cap and uh, to the fiberglass running boards. Well, um, you know, what everybody, I'm sure what everybody's waiting to see is of course what you've done with the inside. Absolutely. You ready to take a look? Let's go take a look. All right. So here at the entry door, of course, you know, you've got the power entrance step, which is a nice feature on the coach. Yeah, one nice thing I want to point out here, uh, on the right next to the step well, a uh, really, really neat feature is going to be what we call the mudroom, okay? So okay. if you're coming outside, your shoes are dirty, they're wet, um, and you're coming inside, where do you typically put your shoes? You leave them outside or you drag all the dirt inside the motorhome. But with this feature here with the mudroom, you can simply slide your shoes off, kick them right in there, and then walk into your motor home uh, without your shoes Those on. are great, those are great. You know what I've had some of our customers tell me they were using them for as well? Cat boxes. Cat boxes? Yeah, yeah great litter place boxes to put a litter stuff. box. Just away from everything else, I would never thought of it, but you know, there was like, it was a great place for, you know, people with, uh, people who are taking cats and stuff with. Yeah, that's a great idea. And there's also a Zerk drain in there too, so if you want to spray it down. Easy uh, to keep clean. Knock the dirt out, it's easy to keep clean too. Well, let's take a look at the inside. Big, classy motorhome on the inside. The full wall slide really is a game changer in this coach. It really is. It really opens up the living space and maximizes the uh, the living space inside here. Some things that really separate the uh, the inside of this motorhome is uh, some nice features to point out. One up over top, you get the standard with the sleeping extra sleeping capacity. A couple cup holders up here. A nice little cubby area where the kids, you know, could put little games and and magazines and things like that. Um, also optional. Um, on this floor plan and also the uh, 35SK is going to be the overhead entertainment center with the storage and also a 50 inch LED TV uh, that actually opens cool. up and gives you extra storage behind it. That's uh, great. That's really neat. And then they're going to come standard with the cab over sleeper. Correct. Um, cab over sleeper and then the uh, 32 inch LED TV which is going to come out on a swivel so no matter where you're sitting in the motorhome you'll be able to tilt the angle and get, get excellent visibility out of that's it. That's a nice feature really is being able to do that. So yeah, you can bring that thing all the way around. 
Now, I really like the fact that uh, y'all utilize the U-shaped booths in so many of your floor plans as well. We do. This is all going to be standard build in here. Uh, it's an oversized U-shaped booth dinette versus a standard booth dinette. So you're going to pick up additional uh, sitting area uh, against the back wall there. And you're also going to pick up an extra seatbelt for uh, more seatbelts in the motorhome. So three total in the U-shaped booth? Three total in the U-shape. Uh, three over here in the sofa, then two up front. So you actually can belt in eight passengers into this vehicle. Wow. Um, and then, of course, this also is going to fold down. Uh, the pedestal leg comes off. This tabletop drops down. And you've got an additional cushion, which is right behind you there, that sets in uh, for a nice, big, oversized uh, bed bed area. And what's nice about the, the booth and the, the seat belts, just to go back to that for a moment, is the fact that the seat belts in the booth are going to be located on either side, so you can have either a forward or a rear-facing child seat if you need to. Correct. Mm -hmm. That is correct. So now the uh, the sofa. Um... Yeah, the sofa here, uh, this is going to be a nice uh, ultra leather sofa here, plush leather. And this will also fold into additional sleeping area. Uh, simply these front cushions come off here. It folds out forward. And then you've got an air bed that's built right into it so that you can sleep north and south and maximize your sleeping capacity in this area. So it's an actual air bed. It's not just the, the flip over like a jackknife style or... Correct. It's a very uh, comfortable air bed that's got the pump and stuff and the remote built right into it. That's so a nice feature. I haven't even seen one of those. Yeah, new to the marketplace? Pretty new to the market, yeah. We've been using it for a little bit of time, but... Uh, it really, uh, you know, you don't get the coils in your back. So yeah. when you wake up in the morning, you don't feel like you've been sleeping on a hotel uh, <laughs> sofa bed. A couple other things to point out. Uh, Donnie is going to be, uh, you'll notice how bright it is in here. Uh, we've, we're utilizing LED lights, okay? It's going to give off more light than your typical light. It's also going to be much cooler than your typical light, and they run on a lot less amperage than your typical light does. So. Uh, costs a little bit more, but we do see the added benefit in installing these throughout the roof ceiling. No question. And just the the usability of it. The bulbs are continually burning out. You know, in our in our other products, I mean, we buy them hundreds at a time for replacement. And as you said, they get they literally get so hot if they're left on that they'll melt this plastic. Correct. You know, so mm -hmm. we have to buy these plastics too. Just people coming here on the lot, turn them on. Nobody catches it. You know pre-owned unit outside and we'll go back out there and we'll have to replace these. So I mean, it'll take care of, of, of that ever happening. And then of course, just the ability to cool the coach so much easier, you know, without emitting so much additional heat. Right, and so many folks are going to LED lights in their homes now. Um, yes. So we figure if they're using them in their homes, why wouldn't they want it in their RV, which is their home away from home? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, one more thing I'd like to point out up here is going to be the privacy shades. Uh, standard build on, on our F550 here uh, is going to be the solar daytime shade, okay, which is going to reflect some sunlight and keep it cooler in here as well. And then for complete privacy at nighttime, uh, you're going to get the permanent blackout shade here. That's okay. nice. And these are on a roller system. They are manual, uh, so they're easy to go up and easy to go down. And what I like about the uh, solar screens is a different level of uh, privacy because when you're outside, um, you really can't see in. Right. I mean, there's very little that you can see through the, the black screen. However, you can still see out. So, you know, like I said, it's just a different level of, of privacy. Uh, still being able to see what's going on outside the, sure. you know, with everybody else and, and uh, keep the heat out more than anything. Right. So. Yeah, so again, that is standard build. Uh, right above that, uh, I'd like to talk about the cabinetry for a moment. Uh, you're going to notice that it is raised panel cabinetry, which gives it a nice residential look with the, the nice shiny gloss top on front here. Uh, we offer two different cabinet colors. This here is going to be the richer cherry look, the darker look. Right. We also offer a little bit lighter vintage maple, so our consumers have two different options, whether they like, like dark cabinets or uh, darker cabinets. Right. Um, and up here too, you're going to notice a nice big overhead storage here. Okay. And then on this side here, your north and south opening doors, um, they're going to be held up by uh, metal struts here. Okay. Not plastic struts. The metal struts are going to be much more durable. So as you open and close this cabinet over time, uh, it's going to be durable and not going to rip out on you. Now tell us a little bit about, because what separates you guys in the industry uh, from the cabinets, you know, not just the looks of, and styling of your cabinets, 
but how y'all actually affix them to the coach themselves that separates Thor Motor Coach across the board sure. uh, from what mm -hmm. the industry norm is. Mm -hmm. Well, having a laminated construction, your floor, sidewall, and roof structure, we do all the lamination at Thor Motor Coach on our premises. And what we actually do inside the sidewall is we strategically place uh, EGS, which is electro galvanized steel backers, okay? So they're three inch tall steel backers that are placed inside the laminated wall so that we go and install our cabinetry. These are actually screwed and anchored into steel backers, not just into block foam and not into the aluminum superstructure. Uh, these are put in there just to support these. So uh, the main benefit over time, your cabinets aren't going to sag on you and they're going to hold up and stay put into that sidewall. Absolutely. Um, we also anchor in our air conditioner systems on uh, any of our appliances are all screwed in the steel backers to sure they're not going to come out. Yeah, we'll, we'll show that to uh, customers here. You know, we've got magnets that we'll use where they sure. really understand, mm -hmm. you know, you take the magnet and it sticks to the to the roof, you know, or sticks to the sidewall, you know, and then they really you know understand what what you're talking about and it's not only just that it's uh better mounted now but of course you know over the longevity of the coach you know like your your door handles when you walk in for instance you know they're all fine when they're brand new but you know after you use it for a while you know we get them and they get loose in other products um you know it's mounted into steel the cabinets are the same way you know this is going to take the uh, the road and the the abuse and the vibration and still not squeak and rattle and pop four or five years down the road. Absolutely. Um, a couple other residential features that I like to point out is gonna be the flooring system. Uh, it's gonna be linoleum, tough grade high-end linoleum from front all the way back to the rear through the bedroom of the coach. Uh, and also what we do is we're gonna put linoleum underneath the table, okay? Uh, what you see in a lot of Class C's in the marketplace is some linoleum throughout, but you get carpet underneath where your kids are eating, right. spilling drinks, things like that. Uh, we're in this motorhome here. There's absolutely no carpet in it. Uh, you can just take a throw rug, throw it down to dress it up how you like it and make it look like your own home. Is that strictly, because I've never understood why they did that. Is that just a cost savings in another product? Why they would put the carpet underneath? It is cost savings, um, you know, because we have added little structure there with the, with the uh, plastic molding that goes along the side there. Um, but I like to look at it as Thor Motor Coach being innovators. Um, you know, listening to our customers, what they're looking for and giving them what they want. And uh, I don't think there's anybody that can disagree that they don't want carpet underneath their table. <laughs> Welcome to the kitchen area of the Four Winds F550 Super Motorhome. Uh, you'll notice a few features here. One gonna be the full drawer guide extensions that come all the way out and they're metal ball drawer guides. Um, also, you'll notice standard build is gonna be a solid surface sink and sink covers, high-rise faucet, which make easy, uh, makes it easy for doing dishes, and also you've got a sprayer here to spray off your dishes. Um, other residential features you're gonna notice in this kitchen area is gonna be a residential 30-inch Whirlpool microwave oven. Uh, you know, Donnie, a lot of your traditional Class C's have got really small microwave ovens in them where it's yeah. tough to even put a bag of popcorn in it. You're right, yeah. Uh, but you're with this here, right. it's gonna be the same size microwave that you're gonna find in your own home. This will also be complemented with an 18 cubic foot Whirlpool residential refrigerator, okay, that operates off battery power, giving you nice big storage in the, uh, in the refrigerator area. And then your freezer area uh, is gonna have a nice big storage area as well. So uh, when you're going down the road, it's actually gonna be running just off of the, the alternator is gonna be charging the batteries uh, to the inverter. Correct. And then the inverter is gonna be running your uh, your refrigerator, so Correct. you're not having to use any LP gas. You're going to worry about the pilot light getting blown out. Mm -hmm. that, yeah. That's yeah. a great feature, and of course, it's a lot yeah. bigger than a traditional right. RV refrigerator. Right. Well, most RV refrigerators are about six to eight cubic foot, or this right. is going to be 18, uh, something that you would find in your home. Uh, right. One concern you may have is what happens if we lose battery power. Well, one thing that we make sure of is that you're not going to lose all your food by spoiling. Uh, so what we do is we equip an auto generator start. So if you do lose battery power, it goes below a certain voltage, it's going to automatically kick your generator on, uh, which will then kick your inverter on, which is going to charge your batteries and uh, keep your refrigerator from spoiling and, you know, losing power and spoiling any of the food. It just allows the, the camping and the stay 
uh, to be so much uh, better when you're taking you know lots of family and friends like this motorhome is designed to do. Absolutely, and again, this is one of those things that our customers are giving us feedback, saying we need bigger refrigerators. You know, they like the residential feature of it. Right. So we've listened to our customers, uh, and we've given them a nice big uh, residential refrigerator and also a nice big microwave that they can actually cook food in. And I like um, the conventional oven. Yeah, you, you still know, get the a still full size oven. Yeah, if you still want to bake some cookies or throw a pizza in here, uh, you know, you can still have your oven. And then you've got a three burner top. Um, you know, if you're if you're cooking food in here, uh, this has the optional 12 volt attic fan on it, so that if steam and stuff is coming up, you just turn that fan on. It circulates it out uh, and, and gets the smoke out of here. Uh, or if you're not cooking, you can keep the attic fan on. And it'll just keep the air flowing throughout the motorhome. So that is a very nice feature. Um, and this is up in the, uh, one thing you'll notice too, nice high ceilings, 82 inch ceilings. Oh, these are soft touch. They are soft touch, yes. We've upgraded it to the soft touch, uh, which gives it a nice warm comfort feel to it. Uh, but a big thing is, is it's an extra insulation factor. Absolutely. And it's a, and it's a noise reducer. With, so, without doubt. And of course, it's much easier to keep clean as well. You know, these ducts over time, you know, if it's the carpeted style or anything along those lines, you know, the dirt gets in the vents and then it stains it, you have to try to steam clean it, then right. it never matches back up again. This is just wiped down, and as you noted, you know, a lot of insulation uh, uh, advantages as well. Absolutely, and it doesn't uh, hold uh, odors and things like that in there, so right. you don't have to worry about that. And then, uh, I didn't even notice the pantry when we first walked in. It's a nice wow. big pantry. Yeah. You can never have enough pantry space. It's on heavy duty metal ball bearing drawer guys on the back here. It's all going to be wood built in. It's not going to be a wire rack that the wires are banging around. So when you're driving down the road, it's going to be nice and quiet. Uh, but also if you got cereal boxes, canned goods, um, you know, marinara sauce bottles, things like right. that, uh, you got plenty of storage. You got four different uh, areas here that you can store a lot of food into. Really well thought out kitchen and a great use of space, you know, th throughout the coach. I mean, all this is 30, you said 34 feet? Just a little 34 under. feet, six inches from front to very back. Wow. Did an exceptional job in the layout. Really did. Uh, here is the F-550. You're going to see the bathroom area. Uh, it's going to have a nice residential shower in here with a real glass shower door. Okay, porcelain toilet. And then you're also going to get a nice little sink area here with some overhead storage and some nice big mirrors uh, to, to really make the bathroom feel a lot larger. Back in the bedroom area of the Four Winds F550 Super C, uh, you're going to notice that we pay attention to a lot of storage area. It's going to be equipped with the his and her wardrobe, giving you plenty of hanging space, and also plenty of drawers here, uh, giving you plenty of storage to put your clothes, your socks, and things like that. One thing we do pay a lot of attention to is interior storage space. Absolutely. Uh, you're also going to get above your head there um, a lot of overhead storage there. Uh, and you'll notice that we do continue the raised panel cabinetry throughout the bedroom area for a nice upgraded look. Uh, one key thing to point out back here uh, in this floor plan, in our, in our new 35SK floor plan, is that both floor plans are going to be equipped with the premium uh, Denver mattress king bed. Okay. Uh, one thing that we do not take shortcuts in on is uh, your sleeping, okay? Well, you'll find in a lot of other classy motorhomes, uh, there's mattresses where you sit on the bed and you go right down to the wood. Uh, this is a hospitality mattress that comes with a three-year warranty on it. Um, so we do not take shortcuts. It's a very, very comfortable bed uh, to sleep at night when you're... It's a really nice feature, and y'all are the first to really recognize that, you know, at, at every level of, of your manufacturing. It's not just for you know, the upper tiered $350,000 motorhomes have a, have a premium mattress. You, know, you are the first to recognize it, you know, uh, throughout your product lines. Absolutely. Well, again, it's one of those things where we listen to our customers and they said, you know, all motorhomes out in the market or most motorhomes, especially uh, in this class or in the class C division, um, you know, they're just not nice mattresses and they always are always going to have to replace them themselves. So we right. said, why are we making our customers do that? Let's go ahead and put a premium mattress in there for them. Uh, and that's what we've done here. Great You'll also benefit. notice back on the wall too, uh, nice residential look. It's got a, a residential headboard on it, and you've got two wall sconce lights there for yeah. nice mood lighting. Well, this is uh, what I was noticing was uh, how you uh, achieved still to have uh, windows where you essentially have the cross ventilation mm -hmm. windows and let in the additional lighting. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, because traditionally, unless it's in a slide room, sometimes you'll get a, a side window. Right. So it's just nice to see y'all y'all uh, 
y'all do that. It's the uh, first floor plan I've, I've seen that done in. Mm -hmm. It was really nicely done. Um, you know, looking at it now, I don't know why it's not done in more, right. and more the, floor plans. You know, it just and, makes a lot of sense. And the windows aren't right above your head. So if you're sleeping and it's hot out or cold out, you're not going to have that heat or cold air coming right through on your head right. because they are on the side of the bed. Absolutely. Uh, of course, you mentioned the king size bed. Um, the only thing, you know, it's really, really impressive to me with the floor plan is how you're able to get so much done uh, in 34 feet, six inches. And I'm still standing on the other side of a king size bed in a class C motorhome. Right. I mean, where I can still, you know, get around it and make the bed, sure. you know, and uh, a lot of times, you know, they're just going to push the bed all the way to the wall. Um, you know, and then utilize the space up there. And it's kind of like after you own it, you think about, well, how am I supposed to make that or, right. or use this, this right. coach? But I mean, again, to accomplish so much in the floor plan and still have the space to get around the backside of a, of a king size bed in a class C motorhome is really, really impressive. Yes. Did an, an incredible job laying it out. Thank you. Thank really you. Thank did. you. Uh, there's one last thing uh, that I'd like to point out back in the bedroom area. It's going to be our coach radio system, uh, which is also going to be standard build. Okay. Uh, it's a Jensen uh, coach radio system. It's back over here on this wall. Uh, the nice thing with this system is it's got its Bluetooth uh, capabilities. So if you have an iPhone or any type of smartphone uh, and you got music on your phone, you can simply uh, uh, pair it into that radio system and play this through the speakers in the inside of the motorhome or they're actually speakers put on the outside of the oh, motorhome really? so you can switch it to the outside so when you're outside camping, uh, you got music right at your fingertips. I use that all the time at the house. Yeah, it's, so a, it's a very nifty and uh, uh, a very nice feature that we offer. Just another really great added benefit. Um, would you like to take a look at the uh, Cadbury? I think that's about all we've got left. Okay, great. Well, let's go take a look. All right. The cab area has two easy access ways to get into it. Uh, one from this angle here. Or you can enter through the main driver door. A few features to point out, Donnie, up here in the cab area. Uh, standard is going to be the uh, nice color Pioneer backup camera. Uh, which I mentioned earlier, side vision cameras are going to be tied right into this. So when you turn your blinker on, uh, whichever way, right or left, that camera is going to show up here uh, in the rear monitor system. Okay. Uh, what really nice thing too with this radio system is it's going to be uh, Pandora capable. So uh, if you're familiar with Pandora, you can just pop it right on here, uh, listen to your favorite artist at any time. Uh, and it'll also have a USB port here where you can plug your smartphone or any type of MP3 device in there. Gotcha. Uh, and also it'll be a charging station as well. Okay, one other thing I want to point out on the front dash here, as I mentioned earlier with the dual fuel fill, uh, you're going to have a 40 gallon in the rear and a 28 gallon in the middle of it. Okay. So this is the button right here where you're going to switch from one tank to the next tank. That's a, that's a really nice feature and that's something that y'all are adding from Ford? Uh, yeah, Ford offers the 40 gallon standard and they, then you can buy it uh, optional with a 28 gallon. So we go ahead and maximize our fuel tank capacity. Uh, totaling 68 gallons. That's great. And then one thing right here too, 12 volt plug. Uh, and if you've got a, a portable GPS system, you can plug in here and put on your dash. Or if you've just got a mobile uh, mobile phone device charging, uh, you can plug right into here as well. You'll notice here on the steering wheel, it's going to be the Ford Information Center where you can check your fuel economy, uh, mileage to your next oil change, uh, and anything to do with the uh, you know the, the temperature of the engine. Um, and things like that. And it's also going to be equipped with cruise control. Dual airbags on Dual both airbags. drivers and passenger side. Mm -hmm. So it's a safety uh, feature that you gain, of course, with the Class C unit yep. uh, that you can't get in any Class A. Yep. Uh, so that's a really nice feature as well. Yeah, one other thing I didn't mention earlier is going to be uh, the flip down dual cup holders as well, uh, which is always nice if you've got a drink with you. That is nice. Uh, just to flip there. Then if you're not uh, utilizing a drink, you can flip it up and, and get it out of your way there. And the F550 doors, you know, also got big, big areas here for, you know, maps and different things like that in both doors. They do. Uh, just really, really maximize the space in the cab area as well. And over here on the left is going to be, uh, they are heated remote mirrors, so your controller is going to be right here where you can control the front part of your left mirror and also the top part of your right mirror over there. That pretty well, much is uh, the nice features that Ford gives us uh, up here in the front cab area. Well, Joel, you guys have really built an incredible coach. They sold usually before they even arrive here at the Correct. dealership as it is right now. 
Um, but I know as pro production increases, uh, this coach is really going to take off in the marketplace. Um, again, just like I said to begin with, really glad to see y'all bring the diesel uh, aspect back to the Class C. It was a big void in the marketplace. Uh, it's been incredibly popular, and I know it's just going to get even more so in the years to come. You've done a great, great job on it. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you so much it. for being here with us today, Joel. And uh, thank you all for joining us. Uh, we hope that you enjoyed the video. And if you have any additional questions about this coach or any Thor motor coach that we sell here at Motorhome Specialist, please feel free to give us a call at 1-800-335-6054 or visit us anytime online at mhsrv.com. Thanks again for joining us. Y'all take care. If you think that this is the right unit for you and your family, please contact a representative from Motorhome Specialist. We have easy financing with up to 20-year terms available and year-round sale prices on our entire inventory. We sell RVs to people literally all over the world. If you're flying in, we will pick you up at the airport and bring you to your new RV. Each new RV goes through a rigorous service checklist twice before your arrival. Once here, you will be greeted by a service tech and shown how everything works and that everything is working properly on your new unit. You will also have an RV starter kit that includes a new water hose, sewer hose, chemicals, campground guides, and much more. Thanks for watching our video. We all look forward to hearing from you soon.